I've been going through it the past couple of weeks. One of the bigger reasons why is specifically because of something that only specifically happens at my center every uh, few years, apparently. Licensing. Essentially, it's this dedicated process where people from the state decide, oh hey, let's check your paperwork, make sure it's what's supposed to be, and if it's not, guess what? You get to close down and, and sit there and think about what you've done. Which is nothing. <laughs> it's a very stressful time because we specifically have to prepare cases to show to the people. And this requires a lot of paperwork, this requires a lot of detailed work, and it's, across the board, a very stressful time. No lie, I have almost broken down crying at least like three or four times this week already. Because in tandem with balancing all this paperwork, I also need to manage my usual caseload. That's a lot. And reminder, I work at a site where part of my job is I balance a caseload of anywhere from six to maybe nine people. Try to find them housing, try to find them resources, and help them recover from their drug abuse. It's not a career that's for the faint of heart. <laughs> that's the most I could say. That's the most and least I could say about it. on this particular map. Specifically because they hit at tight areas. Case in point. But anyway, I figure for today, it's gonna be all variety all variety for the entire four to five hours. Depends on how I feel. And we're just gonna relax. Shoot the shit. Play some feel-good games. Because honestly, I need this. I need this bout of stress relief. I don't get too many opportunities. And uh, this also gives me an opportunity to poke at some of the games that I normally wouldn't consider to stream because either they're dry or otherwise they're a little wonky or maybe even they're just a little too off the cuff. Ali Barang does sound nice. Maybe I'll go... Glaive and Red Hots? But anyway, to start with, this is Bloons Tower Defense 6. Uh, yeah, this game needs no introduction. Because... Chances are, if you've been around the internet, you've seen Bloons Tower Defense, or just Bloons, period, at some point within your life. And if you haven't, you're probably a kid, or didn't really play too many games on computers growing up. To which, both are fine. Put simply, the objective of the game is... Tower defense. Place down towers, take down opponents, rinse repeat, survive as long as you can, or until you survive the dedicated number of waves. In our case, 80. Towers can upgrade down a variety of paths. Within BTD6, there are three different upgrade paths. You can have one of these paths go up to tier 2, and the other go up to tier 5. And honestly, I think... What upgrades do you have again? I might go down Ring of... Fire? Yeah, I think I'll go Ring of Fire more tax. At least it's 
start out, just those two upgrades should do. But yeah. BTD tends to give you a lot of different towers to pick from, each with their own strengths, weaknesses, and use cases. The Tax Shooter over here is a tower with very low range, but attacks all around it, something that very few towers in the game end up doing. It can be very effective at shutting down a whole lot of creeps, like so. Or at least a whole lot of weak creeps. The stronger they get, though, the more overwhelmed they get. And at that, higher quantities also tend to leak past. Boomerangers, like this guy, tend to be able to hit multiple targets at once, with a slightly weird firing angle. But you can change the arm so that they change their firing pattern. Well, in BTD6 at least. Morning, Shenron! Hope you're doing well. I figure today's gonna be a more relaxing day than usual. I need it. There's my level up. And I think now is when I should probably start investing in submarines. Because submarines are kind of broken. They fire chasing shots that not only hit a target, but hit a few different targets within their range. And constantly mill about until they hit their maximum number of targets. Some of the upgrades for the monkey sub make it so that it can fire on all towers, on all balloons that could be seen by another tower, period. Or just generally be a, a wonderful strip, a wonderful mass stripper. And you... I don't need an anti-moab quite yet, I kinda wanna save to the Kylie. So I'll probably just mill another wave. Thinking about it. Let's set you to close. Get the top two upgrades. Blue Gunner here doesn't really do a damage to other towers without an upgrade. But it's excellent at slowing creeps down. And again, if you want it to be able to attack towers properly, go down the corrosive glue pathway and it can slowly start to melt towers easily. Especially these regrow ones. Pretty much just sets them at parity. More attacks. I need to consider your upgrades, because I could have you be my dedicated creep miller. But I also recognize that I might need some stealth stripping. But then again, I could just use a ninja monkey for that. Just go down the distraction path. So good. Yeah, I think distraction, niche discipline. That was the reason why I selected this map, because of uh, the, gold, the gold balloon right there. Some maps in BTD6 have a gold balloon icon on them. Every so often, it spawns an extra creep that won't deal damage to your HP. If you can take it out, you get some extra money. Well, not, in, not for like the map itself, but for upgrades and whatnot. But they tend to be very elusive and damage resistant targets, so good luck! I hope your towers are prepped. So far. 
far mine are doing pretty well. Though I should also consider an alchemist. Alchemist is a bit of a flux unit. They're okay at attacking enemies within an area, but their bigger purpose more revolves around buffing towers that you control or debuffing enemies. If you want to go down that path, then you can get upgrades for them called lead to gold, rubber to gold, etc, etc, which makes it easier for you to get money and take out some of the more tanky balloons in the game, like these, like these lead ones. Lead balloons resist most types of damage except for poison, explosive, and fire. If an attack doesn't have any one of those three properties, then it shrugs it off like nothing happened. And... Ah! Thanks, Shinron. <laughs> I'm being chewed out of my mind. But at least it's tasty. Bye bye. Uh, I slightly tweaked my mic settings, gave myself a little more gain, but also I think added some. Uh, I think it, it was a noise gate. I don't fully remember. I don't know how it sounds currently. If something sounds funky, let me know. I'm still trying to tweak some of the settings after upgrading the computer and everything. I wouldn't say upgrading the computer, but it was more like um, overhauling it. Get some monkey business. Yeah, Ninja's got this one shut down. Though I need to. Ah! Hello, Glum! Hope you're doing well. Sounds fine? Oh, good, good. I was worried about that. Alright, and now you. There we go, Berserker Brew. That's the upgrade I want. Although, I do need to give something to this monkey sub here, because it's feeling pretty neglected. The issue is... Yeah, I'm gonna have to go the route of range, I think. I'm not sure if I screwed that up. Okay, no, I didn't. Additional damage to mobs. Yeah, I might go down the bottom path for once. Usually, I end up going down the missile path, because I end up needing area eaters, but I think I've got that covered with Boomeranger here. There we go. Air burst. that. Having a bunch of these subs with airburst kinda no-sells the original issue. Because again, monkey subs are just across the board good for crowd clearing.
That's what I'm looking forward to. Meanwhile, you... Do extra damage, pops leads. I mean, sure. Let's go down that route. Start getting triple guns for some of these. There we go. And I think the next thing I want to do. Get up a buccaneer and probably go down the lower pathways. Specifically, so I can get some extra money. There we go. And for additional support, I can probably go the hotshot route. Monkey Buccaneers tend to be very powerful to the towers that can deal a lot of damage to a lot of different targets, or just generally be a really good support tower if you end up going down the uh, lower pathways. Because on that one, you can get some extra money from rounds, you can get some extra attack rate, etc, etc. And I think now is also a good time for me to win harder. Maybe consider some jungle trumps too. Laser vision. It's gonna be a more lax stream if that's alright. Cause, uh, paperwork at the TSS has been ah. Just a moment to say, it kinda scares me that I've only been there seven months and somehow the region heads say that I have the be I have the cleanest paperwork in the the entire business. Well, in that that specific building. Three case workers, and apparently I know what I'm doing with paperwork. It doesn't feel like it. I feel like I'm an absolute... I'm riding by the seat of my pants. 24-7, 365, but okay, whatever. Also, yes, Bloons. Because Bloons is just one of those nice, feel-good games. Question is, do I go range or just continue nuking things? Answer. Yeah, give me the range. How big is this epic? Not bad. Better. Yeah, you know what? Two. And if I get enough cash together, I'll get her.
because a bunch of ninjas with shinobi tactics are very powerful. In that respect, it's also like getting a bunch of druids together with pop lust and similar. Too many opportunities to mess around with you, the Dartling. First introduced in BTD4, I, uh, I may actually really, really like Dartlings. Dartlings always fire in the direction of your mouse cur as a cursor, and they can be very effective towers if you're paying attention. Of course, their biggest strength is also their biggest weakness, because their accuracy isn't all that great at mid to long range, without an upgrade, and usually they don't have terrific popping power either, without upgrades. Not to mention, the simple fact that you're constantly having to move your mouse cursor around the screen just to be effective can also be a detriment in some cases. I don't mess around with Buckshot, and I wanted to this time around. I can get, I should probably get blue, blue splatter, blue splatter. Excuse me? Specifically because area slowing is kind of gross. Pew, pew, pew. I think we have more than a chance here, thanks to this massive choke point at the front. Kids, don't take drugs. Take steroids. Uh, 
sub sex upgrade and 27,000. No! Most enemies that try to creep through have a chance anyway. Do you have a chance now? Uh... That could be a problem. See, so, yeah, uh, blue sabotage is something I'm gonna need. Five ceramics, though. No chance. Somehow. And two sabotage. And a second level up. You, I don't need anymore. I mean, I could. Why not? And just in case. Final wave. ZOMG. No chance. This upgrade. I don't use spike factories as much. So give me some extra sentry.
next round. Oh no. <laughs> this one's gonna look a little complicated, cause... Oh, no, I thought these obstructed sniper's vision, so maybe this won't be so bad. I don't have any water, unfortunately, so I'm gonna need to figure out another way of getting about this. I mean, this this area right here is good for a spike tower, so why not? This is also good for boomerangers. I don't really use boomerang towers much. Like, again, the main reason on that one is because they're weird firing pattern. Maybe this will actually give me incentive to properly utilize them. If anything, let's change your arm. Improved ranks. Because I was noticing that some of those boom ranks being thrown were uh, kind of choking. And you need faster shooting. do I want for you? Eventually, I am going to need something to deal with stealth, something to deal with lead. On the bright side, there are multiple different ways that you can go about it. frozen towers all that much, so maybe I'll actually do something with them here. Hello there, Lemon! Hope you're doing well today. It's gonna be a bit more of a chill stream today, if that's alright. Pardon the pun. I just realized that was a pun. Even faster. More tax. I need to look into uh, getting a, a monkey town for these two. Or maybe just for the boomerangers. Although I am probably going to need, say, a mortar. Set the target to there. 
Mortars have a slow fire rate, but they're dedicated mass attackers. They tend to pair well with Frozen Towers, specifically because, well, the Frozen Tower locks enemies in place, so the Mortar gets an easy shot in. Of course, Mortars only deal explosive damage, so balloons that are resistant to that get to say, ha, kek, raffle. Fortunately, uh, yeah, I think I'll go Bernie stuff and Balloon Buster. Oh, crap. Uh, Dart Monkey, save me. Nothing to see here. <laughs> Gold snap. Perfect. Less perfect. Ah, screw it. Ice monkey can actually see stealth units. That's that's good to know. damage. Deep freeze. I saw something about Zebra Stripe Balloons, so that means balloons that resist both explosive and ice. Now I think is when I should probably get a sniper. Well, start getting my sniper nest. Think about it, why didn't I put the sniper nest over here? are another favorite tower of mine. They tend to deal a lot of single target damage. They don't necessarily have great fire rate though, but that can be fixed. I don't have anything to deal with. These. That's a problem. Oof. I need a better tactic. guy, then I think one of its upgrades is... Yeah. It is gonna be fairly expensive. need to abandon that plan.
I am so gonna need to abandon this plan. 